Hi, it's Sara here. This week we have been contacting our prospects. Met up with Hanis and we had lunch together and we discussed some things such as our new website design which Hanis fixed after being hacked. We also discussed about our YouTube channel and how are we going to differentiate the topics that we have. I also joined a couple of workshops to upgill myself and improve my skills. As you know, we are constantly learning and improving ourselves. And that's it for this week. I've been trying to focus on being more consistent in producing content. As we know, consistency is key. So keep it up. So this is my update for the week. Um, I have been working on rebuilding the best events website. This is, I think, the third time doing it over again because we got hacked. Um, we, despite having it backed up, the uh, host actually said that we ran out of space and they couldn't have the last backup which was a few weeks ago. So all the content prior to that has not been uh, saved. So really the website that we rebuilt, that we're rebuilding this week is going to be a very streamlined website, it's going to be cleaner but it's not going to be much of content. Uh, unfortunately, all of our blog posts are for now somewhere in space. We don't know whether we can actually extract it and salvage it. But anyway, since that we're starting again with a new direction, with a new year, so I guess it could be a blessing in disguise. So this is the website, it's clean, and we're talking about BETV and the different channels that we have on it. Uh, we also part of, included our past events and the events that we do. And also, um, I've been busy prospecting um, along with Sarah and Kwai. So we've been pushing our uh, live sending solutions very aggressively to uh, companies who have e-commerce websites. So we're trying to educate them right now because right now they're saying that, oh no, we don't really do this for marketing. So we have to educate that it's not really marketing in, in a way, but it's actually about making more sales online when your customers are there watching you. So here you can see that Heels under Lurel actually had over 17,000 chats in 24 hours and reached 2.5 million people with 12% post engagement when they did some live scaling, which increased their sales by 4% versus daily average. And um, what else? Uh, we're gonna have a nice lunch with Sarah to discuss about our plans and about our, our whatever we're working on because right now uh, the MCO has just been lifted off and we're having a CMCO, so there's a conditional movement control order and we get to meet. And that's basically my summary for the week. See you next week. Hello, Kai here. So. Uh, ignore my hair <laughs> because I literally just used a scissors yesterday and cut it myself in front of a reflection of myself on the oven. Oh my no God! No God! Please no! 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 So ignore the um, craziness of my hair. So for this week, my task is to basically do prospecting so I gotta contact them and then write down their details like their email and then proceed to sending them uh, a proposal of our product yeah so that's what we have been up to lately and also on top of that we still have to carry out um, our social media content which is our post our infographic videos and also our week in progress videos the one that you're watching right now so if you haven't checked them out do check them out from week one to the current episode so you know what we're up to and how we progress to this stage so thank you so much for watching this episode or this week's week in progress and hope you enjoy them and hope it finds you uh, it brings some benefits to you. So that's it from me for this week. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode.